Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a watermelon eyeshadow look and I hope you enjoy it. So for starters, I was scrolling through Instagram for eyeshadow inspiration and I stumbled upon these. Full transparency, I'm putting these on the video display, that way you can know what I'm using as a reference point because this idea was not my own. So I figured I might as well give a shout out, so to speak, or a citation, whatever, to the posts or people that inspired me. So if you want to go check them out, go do that. I feel like every time I try to film, I always lose my washi tape. I just need to get like a nail on the wall and just hang it there. I'll still forget it's there. You know what, that's not gonna fix anything. <laughs> So if you've watched any of my eyeshadow tutorials before, you will know that I like having a sharp outline on basically all of them. So I just use washi tape because it makes my life so much easier. So I'm gonna start with my Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to use a green shade from here and that's how I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna start with this shade right here because it's lighter and I don't wanna start with a darker shade because it just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm just gonna get that on my brush. I'm using a like looser eyeshadow brush because I don't want it to be a sharp line and get everywhere. I want this to be going into my crease. So I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend that into my crease. And my eyes were already pretty much primed before I started this, so if you want to make sure your eyes have some sort of concealer or primer on them before you start, if you are starting and you're not just watching this for entertainment, go right on ahead. I'm just gonna keep putting that green in there until I get the color payoff I want. I'm gonna go in and do, oh no, I do. I might need to fix the washi tape. Look. That's just gonna have to work if it's uneven, oh well. I'm just gonna go and put this light green back in there like I did on the other side and really get it all up in there. It's actually really funny because watermelon is not my favorite fruit. I used to hate it whenever I was like a toddler. That we would always have it at like just hot summer days and I would never eat it because I just couldn't do it. I really love sweets though. So <laughs> it was so funny. So everyone's like, it's so sweet. How can you not like it? And I'm just like, it tastes like water. Hence the name watermelon. But I think we were just getting bad watermelons because I don't hate it now. I still wouldn't choose it if I had like, you know, strawberries or something in front of me or blueberries but it's not bad to me watermelon is one of those fruits that looks like it should taste much better than ha like just by looking at it but it doesn't to me <laughs> how about you is there any like fruits you don't like comment those down in the comment section no judging because like everyone just kind of hates or loves their own thing if there's a fruit you absolutely love, go and comment that too, because I love pineapple, but I had a like stomach reaction to it a couple weeks ago, so I now have to avoid it, but it tastes so good. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go with my Tammy X Revolution palette. I'm going to go in with this darker green right here, and I'm going to apply that closer into my crease. I just wanna give this an ombre effect for kind of like the rind, 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 rind. Rind. You know, sometimes I'm like so confused by my own language, it's not even funny. Actually, no, it's very funny, it's hilarious. <laughs> but I just kind of want to get that ombre effect. I'm probably going to go in with this like green metallic in a minute, but I just want to get that light ombre down with this deeper green. I really want to get that up there because I'm going to do a cut crease in a minute and I don't want to just like completely lose the dark green. All right, now that I have that dark green, I'm going to go in and do a cut crease with some concealer and an angled brush off camera. I'm going to do it into a way where it almost like outlines it like eyeliner. That way I can go in with white eyeliner in a minute. All right, I got the cut crease done. Is it the cleanest? No, but will it work? Sure. So now I'm going to go with this red eyeshadow from the Tammy X Revolution palette. I'm going to do this before I do the white eyeliner. I figure it'll be easier to do it that way than just you know do that first and then have red all over it because I do kind of want to have that white line there but if I put it before I do the red eye shadow, shadow it's gonna turn red so so I'm just gonna dip that in outline I'm just gonna have to kind of work it from there 
I'm just kind of staying low to start with and then I'll work my way up. It's actually really interesting because I do cut creases a lot but I don't always do them with like completely different colors. Sometimes I'll just do them so that I'll get a different shade of that color but get a better payoff. I'm just gonna go right in there. I love cut creases but they're always so annoying because I'm afraid I'm gonna do something like that and then I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. I'm just gonna outline over here. I think this cut crease over here turned out more like how I wanted it to. So hopefully the powder won't mess that up. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad over here. I'm just gonna have to hopefully fix this one up here. Can't tell if this is a nightmare, if it's actually going okay. So now I'm gonna go back in with that concealer and I'm just gonna try to like redraw that line so I can apply the white eyeliner over that in a second. That way the white eyeliner isn't colored. So this is getting really messy really quick. There's gonna be a lot I have to like go back and fix, but the good news is I have a brush I can do that with. So now that I kind of have that set up, I'm just gonna try and go in with this white eyeliner. I'm gonna try and do that off camera because I'm not used to doing this. So we'll just see. I'll try and do it with this hand mirror first, but if that doesn't work, we're going back to the mirror. Okay, so the white eyeliner, not working. So I'm just gonna have to go in with either my like nice pointed brush or my angled brush. That way I can just stay along that line. I'm gonna, I'm going to try and go with my angled brush with this red shade right here and just work along that line and then see if I can fix it. I'm just gonna try and do it like this. That way I can actually see because that tiny mirror is not going to help me since it's so far away. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get this outline so I can have that there, but it's still a line. Now I'm gonna go in with this pointy, like dense brush and go in with this green right here. And then basically do the same thing I did with the red, just try and clean up that line a bit. Okay, so I was able to go back in and eventually like, get the white eyeliner on, but it kind of just looks like the like Italian flag. And I'm just, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my, so I'm just gonna put my washi tape back on and then I'm gonna go under my eyes with the red. So hopefully that changes how it looks a little. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to go back in in a second, like for my waterline, and then eventually just like, you know, fix everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in and try and do my waterline and then fix that up with some concealer and then we're gonna see how that looks. Hello there, viewer. If you're watching this and you're actually following it, then make sure to stop here. I went in and did seeds later. Did not work out well. My eyeliner decided to dry out. I could not get the shapes I wanted, so I just went back in and kind of like redid the red and green. And by redid, I just mean like fixed up. So if you want to stop there, go ahead because in my opinion, it looks much better. This is what I'm going to use on the thumbnail. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. All right, I got that all fixed up. I put some more green up here, worked it higher and just cleaned it up a bit. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and like some seeds and then hopefully it'll look okay. <laughs> All right, so it didn't turn out the best because <laughs> my eyeliner decided it did not want to work very well. So I kept getting odd shapes. If I needed like cheetah print, it would've been fine. Then I went in with concealer and then I dabbed on black powder. So it's just kind of a mess right now. Hopefully eyelashes can sort of save it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think I'm gonna classify this one as a fail. I couldn't get the eyelashes to work. My eyeliner was not doing it today. So this is just kind of what we're stuck with. I'm classifying this one as a fail. I'm still gonna post it, but earlier in the video, you should have seen a part of me like stopping. <laughs> like don't do not do any more, don't do the seeds. Like just kind of cut it there because I, I still really liked the look before I added in all this mess. So I might like for the thumbnail, just go back in and like fix the seeds and get rid of them. But I hope you were entertained by this video. I hope you were entertained by this because did not turn out well. Um, <laughs> so if you stayed this long to the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell. That way you get a notification of when I post and you don't miss it because YouTube won't give you a notification. I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and have a good one. Bye.